Thanks for tuning in today. I got a little bit of uh, some explaining to do. So I moved into this house about five months ago. Really glad to live here. We got this awesome carport that matches the aesthetic of our 1961 ranch. We're really, really happy to live here. But one negative, the city doesn't like me building stuff in the driveway or in the carport. So we're looking for some offsite place to do some of this stuff. But today we've got to keep moving on UBTK5. So we're gonna load up the donor body here, take it over to Mike Howe's house, and we're gonna completely gut the thing. He's gonna get started on some rust repair, and we're really, really pumped about that. I got my buddy Rocky Wagner here with me. We're gonna get this thing loaded up on the trailer, get it over to Mike's, start gutting it. Before we jump into gutting the interior on this thing, we're gonna take you back to the day that we brought the donor body home. Me and my little girl got out here, got it all cleaned out. Yeah, it was a little warmer weather, as you can tell it's pretty cold here now. I think it'll give you a good idea of what the body will look like once we get it all buffed, cleaned up, some new pinstriping, that sort of thing. So we're gonna flash back to a couple months ago when we brought this thing home, getting it cleaned up, and then we'll catch up with you at Mike's. <laughs> All right, so we got the first round of cobwebs knocked off the K5. Man, this thing's gonna look killer when we get done with it. This side is certainly faring as well as I thought it was. So obviously that side's wet. This side's dry, but you can already begin to tell how the center section is gonna buff out really nicely. Here you can see how dull the paint is, but once we start buffing on this thing, it's gonna really shine. You can actually see through the windows now, so that's pretty legit. It's uh, real dirty in there. So we were just really knocking off the dust tonight, just trying to get it roll it in the carport here so we're gonna give this thing a push see if we can get it rolled up in here again favorite part spare tire holder looks to be complete all the mechanism seems to work I need to tighten some of all that up there it looks looks to be loose but I think we're gonna be all right with this tell well maybe you can't tell yeah you can tell look back there k5 donor body for ubt k5 got it all loaded up and we're headed out to mike's as i mentioned in the opener been having some issues with the city and they don't like me building trucks in my driveway or my carport so we're having to uh Having to do some other things to kind of get around that for now. Like I said, probably gonna find some space off site. Still gonna do a lot of work at the truck farm, do some work over at Ron's, you know, do some work over at Mike's, which is what we're doing today. So taking the K5 over there, gonna get the interior gutted, really assess what the rust looks like. And uh, Mike is gonna start doing some rust repair because I've told you all a thousand times, I can't weld. I don't have time to learn how to weld right now. So I'm gonna give it to a pro, man. Rocky's here with us, gonna help us out. And uh, yeah, so we'll keep you posted. We'll see you at Mike's. All right guys, so you can see, we got the donor body, the UBTK5, back over to Mike's house. Awesome, familiar place. We're gonna 
get started getting the interior gutted. Rocky's here, Mike's here, and we're gonna make use of probably the next hour and a half, good use of the next hour and a half. And the reason we're doing this is we really wanna see what the rust situation looks like on the floor of UBTK5. So I'm gonna get some cameras hung around this thing. We're gonna start gutting it, and we'll show you what we're working with here in just a minute. All right, so just to give you an idea of what we're dealing with thus far, I mean, this is the interior. Really the only thing we're trying to save, obviously we're gonna replace the dash pad, we'll do something else about the steering wheel, but we're gonna save the seats, the center console, and everything else, which they've already thrown out a bunch of junk. Rocky's trying to get in here around me already. But uh, yeah, Mike's over there pulling out some nasty stuff. But you can see, there's all sorts of trash and stuff in here. So we're gonna get all this out of here, get the seats out, get that flooring out, inspect it, and see what kind of rust repair we need. And then Mike's gonna work his metal magic. Aren't you, Mike? Right. You working metal magic? That's what I do, man. That is what you do. Rocky's already over there uh, turning wrenches. I'm gonna put this camera down and get, get with it. That's good. And the other one's dead not wanting to. We're actually pulling the hole. There we go. So Mike, this guy, wants to go ahead and pull at least the hood and the driver's side fender so he can make sure he's got all the right alignment for the rocker. That's what we're going to do. Pull this hood real quick. Building the bed floor a week before SEMA, you know, like the truck's Jeez. like barely, yeah, half right. of it's barely painted, and here we are a week before SEMA. Like, but anyway, <clears throat> did you go there to do that? I went there. Yeah, yeah. Close. You don't mind getting all nasty? This one's just frozen. Did he cut it? Yeah, probably. Right. We're on the back seat. Yeah, show them that. Dude, yeah. Solid floor pans here. Already feeling good about that. Mike and I are up here trying to get this fender off, but Rocky is in here making it happen. And look at these floor pans. Solid as a rock. So solid. Man, I was so concerned. We are having trouble getting the back gate open, which is, you know, there's typically some rust can be down along that uh, along that line there, but. The fact that these floor pans are looking nice and new. Look at that beautiful dark navy paint, original paint. I'm all over that. Yeah. It's good all stuff. right, that's such good stuff. It's good business. Appreciate you rocking. Rocky's making serious freaking just badass work of this interior. And we're really, really pleased with these floor pans. We got a little bit of a little bit of scaly, a little bit of flaky right here, but no real holes or anything. So you know how we do it at UBT, we're gonna run it. But I'm real glad there's no big holes in the cargo area back here thus far. We just got this fender off for Mike to work on the rocker. And uh, he's working on taking this door off right now. Y'all got this sorted out. 
Hey, man. You just, you just do your shot backing, okay? All right, all right. We got this. All right, so they're working on getting the other seat out, and uh, I'm gonna shot back all this mess. Yeah, you are. Yeah! So we made some significant progress today. You can see we got the front fender off for Mike to work on this rocker. Rocky is taking off visors. We definitely got a good assessment of what's going on from a rust perspective in the floor pans. You can see pretty giant hole there. I mean, we knew that was there. So Mike's gonna replace the rocker and start working on patching in some of those spots. We all we knew that was pretty well there. The rest of this is just a lot of dirt and stuff we got to clean up. Passenger side is a little worse than I expected. I'll show you that here in just a second. But the cargo area, really, really happy with that. A little bit of scale right there, but no holes or anything like that, which is pretty awesome. This part right here in the floor plan and sort of the footwell area. Didn't realize that was there, but Mike's gonna get that taken care of. And we got a little bit back here. So we got a little bit right there, and even a little bit back here in this corner. So I think the top has probably leaked at one point in time. But overall, it's nothing too, too awful. I mean, there's definitely some work to be done on the in the footwell rocker outer edge of the floor. But nothing too bad, nothing too crazy. Mike can definitely handle it. It was so jacked on this cargo area. That just turned out good. Rocky, What's good fun today, man. I had a good time, man. You man, you killed it today. You did a lot of- <laughs> It was good stuff. You did a lot of work. I did. <laughs> it was fun. You cut it out most of the interior by yourself. Had me, to be done. It was me and Mike good. had to mess with that. Uh, <laughs> had to mess with that front fender. <laughs> you had a rough time. Yeah, you know, it worked out. It worked out. All right, guys. So that's gonna do it for this episode of United by Trucks. We had a good time getting the UBTK5 gutted, taking a little bit better assessment of what's going on from a rust repair perspective, and pretty pleased with it for the most part. I mean, the passenger side was a little more than I expected, but really happy that the cargo area is not any worse than it is so gonna get some parts loaded up finish cleaning up in here if you haven't subscribed to the channel please consider doing so definitely drop a comment down below let us know what you think of the rust or what we found inside on ubtk5 and definitely smash that thumbs up button if you like what you've seen we appreciate it catch you next time on united by trucks cue the music